this is where you get your credentials. You really, I mean, it's such a small group of, of people. I'm so tickled to be in that group. Dick Van Dyke is a living legend. He's been in show business for over 70 years and he's still going strong. But what's his lifestyle like? What does he do for fun? How does he stay healthy and active? In this video, we're going to take a look at the lifestyle of Dick Van Dyke. Richard Wayne Van Dyke, born on December 13, 1925, is an American actor, entertainer, and comedian. His award-winning career has spanned seven decades in film, television, and stage. Van Dyke is the recipient of multiple awards, including a Golden Globe, a Tony, a Grammy, a Daytime Emmy, and four Primetime Emmys. I really dance. I'm a fake. She said, I'm not talking about the feet. I'm talking about up here. They're all looking at their feet. And you, I, I had to teach them to look out that way. Now let's talk about his interests and favorite hobbies. He's always been known for his impeccable sense of fashion, and he's often seen wearing expensive clothes. He's also a fan of jewelry, and he's been known to wear expensive watches and rings. Dick Van Dyke got his high school diploma in the year 2004 at the age of 78. On August 19th, 2013, it was reported that the 87-year-old Van Dyke was rescued from his Jaguar by a passerby after the car had caught fire on the US 101 freeway in Calabasas, Los Angeles County. He was not injured in the fire, although the car burned down to its frame. Van Dyke endorsed and campaigned for Bernie Sanders in the 2020 Democratic Party presidential primaries. Van Dyke stated on Conan that he called Laurel and admitted to him that he had stolen from him over the years, and Laurel replied, yes, I know. He told the Daily Mail in 2016 that he loves fried chicken. Van Dyke has said that he loves the color blue because it's calming and peaceful. Yes. The funniest thing, because of, of COVID, there's no school. I've got a whole fan club of six-year-olds now that write me letters. Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. In February 1948, Van Dyke married his first wife, Marjorie Willett, live on the radio show Bride and Groom. They had four children together. After a long separation, Van Dyke and Willett divorced in 1984. Then Van Dyke lived with his longtime partner, Michelle Triola Marvin, until she passed away in 2009. They had been together for more than 30 years. In 2012, Van Dyke married makeup artist Arlene Silver, who was 46 years younger than him at the time. He became a great-grandfather on July 26, 2001, when his grandson, Kerry Van Dyke, Barry Van Dyke's oldest child, and his wife, Ann Van Dyke, had a baby girl named Ava Van Dyke. He was born to Hazel Victoria, a stenographer, and Lauren Wayne Cookie Van Dyke, a salesman. He's the older brother of actor Jerry Van Dyke, who appeared as his brother in The Dick Van Dyke Show. So smart. He said, I don't want to ever mention anything news of the day he, he didn't w let us talk about it, so it doesn't date the show in that way with that being said let's discuss how he earns money dick van dyke is a legend of show business dick van dyke has made millions of dollars from his acting career he starred in some of the most iconic films and tv shows of all time in addition to his acting van dyke has earned money from directing and producing he also adds extra money to his bank account through brand endorsement deals He's also a published author and has earned money from his various books such as Alter Egos, Those Funny Kids, and Keep Moving, and other tips and truths about aging. He has a net worth of $50 million. Ever wanted to know where he lives? Get ready to take a virtual tour of his ultra-luxurious house. He currently lives in his house in Malibu, California. Property's worth nearly $9 million, and the house has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The kitchen is spacious, and the swimming pool has stunning views of the ocean. The backyard's large and has a patio, a fire pit, and a garden. Moreover, the house is decorated in a traditional style with a touch of Hollywood glamour. And here are the cars you'll find in his garage. A Volkswagen Beetle,
a Jaguar XJ. A Porsche 911 E Targa. A BMW. A Mercedes CLK. A Bugatti Chiron. A Rolls Royce. A Mustang Shelby. A Range Rover. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? He was raised in Danville, Illinois. He left high school in 1944 when he was a senior with the intention of joining the United States Army Air Forces and train as a pilot during World War II. He was denied enlistment multiple times due to being underweight, but was eventually accepted to serve as a radio announcer and later as a member of the special services where he entertained troops. During the 1940s, Van Dyke began work as a radio DJ in his hometown. He was also part of a comedy duo with the pantomime performer Phil Erickson, and they toured together around the West Coast as well as appeared on a local television show, The Merry Mutes, in Atlanta, Georgia, in the early 1950s. His other early appearances on television include Chance of a Lifetime in 1954, The Phil Silver Show, the Pat Boone Chevy Showroom on ABC, and The Polly Bergen Show on NBC. In 1959, Van Dyke debuted on Broadway in a production of The Girls Against the Boys. He then starred as the lead in Bye Bye Birdie from 1960 to 1961. Beginning in 1961, Van Dyke starred in his own CBS sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show, playing the character of comedy writer Rob Petrie. The show ran until 1966. Van Dyke's next project was a different, unrelated sitcom, The New Dick Van Dyke Show, which ran from 1971 to 1974. In addition to his appearances on television, Van Dyke also enjoyed a highly successful film career. His first film appearance in 1963 was an adaptation of the hit musical Bye Bye Birdie, which he had starred in on Broadway. He then starred in what has come to be viewed as a classic film, Walt Disney's Mary Poppins. From 1993 to 2001, Van Dyke appeared in the TV drama Diagnosis Murder. In 2017, Van Dyke recorded a single duet for Christmas with the popular actress Jane Lynch. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it, but don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.